Hey guys, it's Galactic Glum, and welcome to another episode of the RPG tutorial series. So today we are going to be doing regeneration. This is going to be a fairly quick tutorial, so just bear with me. And by quick, I don't mean fast. It's just going to be really short. It's going to be maybe like five to six minutes. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's really short. It's pretty simple, um, but let's get right into it. So in our attribute class, we're going to make a new float called regeneration percentage. With regeneration, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a percentage of the maximum value of the attribute and adding that to the value every second. So for health, we're going to take 5% of the health, the maximum value of the health, and add to that every second. So effectively, it'll take 5%, it'll take at 5% regeneration percentage, it'll take 20 seconds to regenerate. We're going to make a regeneration percentage a serialized field, and we're going to give it a range attribute from 0 to 1, basically limiting it 0 to 1 because it is a percentage. We're going to make another float variable called regeneration timer. And this is going to be used for basically keeping track of when a second has passed by adding time to delta time to this and checking when it is greater than or equal to 1. So let's make a new method here called update. And in here, we're going to say regeneration timer is plus equal to time to delta time. If regeneration timer is greater than or equal to 1, then regeneration timer is equal to 0. Now let's make a new method here, to be private, called regenerate. What this is going to do is, is this going to actually handle the regeneration. So after we do that in this if statement or if branch, just call it regenerate. That's the update method. In regenerate, we're gonna first check if our percentage is less than or equal to zero. Because if it is, then we wanna bail. The reason we wanna bail is because we're gonna be calling modify. And modify calls the on value change delegate. And there's no reason to do that if we're not regenerating. Because we're not modifying anything, nothing's changing. So what we can do now is we can actually modify. So we're gonna call the modify method. And the by value we're gonna be passing in is gonna be, an, so first cast this to an int, is gonna be our maximum value times regeneration percentage. And that needs to be casted to an int because these are two, or this is a float times an integer, which is gonna result in the float. So we need to convert that back to an int. So that's the attribute class done. Now we can go in our attribute container. We can copy our initialize method here and just rename it to update. And instead of calling initialize, we're gonna call update. And now in our player, we need to call attributes.update. So that's that. Um, you'll also notice I changed this 25 to random.range 1 to 30. So you can do that quickly here. And then negative random.range 1 to 30. Now we can go into our health attributes and mana attributes. And you'll see that since I actually re recorded this tutorial, I already put it at zero. 0.05, uh, you can just do that. Man attribute has nothing. So now we can go into the game and we can press minus and you can notice how we do regenerate, which is pretty neat. You could even uh, regenerate the current value though that could lead to complications. I would not. You can, and what, else, what other thing we can consider doing and I may actually do this later, is regenerating not by percentage, but saying it takes 60 seconds to regenerate health. So just do that. So re regenerate until we reach you know, 60 seconds type thing. Basically, regenerate for 60 seconds, and 60 seconds is the amount of, is the max health we can we get here. Another thing you could do is just increment by one every second or something. There's a lot of different methods you can do, but this is a method I like. It works for, cause like when we're talking about a large amount of health, um, not 500, but let's, let's talk about more realistically in, in a game like World of Warcraft, you might have 227,000 health. Okay. So what is that? Yeah. So let's, let's, let's do that there. It's 227,000 health. And then let's say you take in 3,000 damage, right? Or 1 to 3,000 damage. Well, at this scale, 
I mean, we're not this first of all. I mean, you're gen you're you're, you're re regenerating pretty quickly here. So that might not be something you want. You might want to be every two seconds you want to regenerate, right? You could even say that only regenerate... Only regenerate once you actually start losing health. I mean, there's a lot of different optimizations we can make here. It's not a big deal, though. Especially because we're not going to regenerate while we're in combat. So, um, let's go in our player here. Right, for instance, I'm just going to do this as an example. I'm going to make a new serialized field boo called in combat, right? And then we're going to say if in combat, then just don't update our at or if we yeah, if we're not in combat, then at update our attributes basically. And well, now what's going to happen is we're not in combat right now, so it's going to update our attributes. Okay? But, I'll just select the player object here. But as soon as we go into combat, okay, so we're in combat. You'll notice that, right, we're taking, we're, we have an enemy that's hitting 3,000 damage each. You know, and we're, we're, we're losing a significant amount of health here. Okay. Well, you'll notice that now, okay, so we run away. And then, we're out of combat. Well, now we're waiting here, we're running away, and we're regenerating. But 5%, again, may be too much, it might be too little. You all have to decide. And it's something that you can, you can change, it's something you can tweak. You can even try new algorithms and formulas for a better regeneration. But I, I like this way. Um, I, think it looks, I think it looks pretty nice, and I think it works pretty well. But 2%, for instance... Could also work. Um, I'll just... I'll just set us to combat. So I can subtract, but... But yeah. I mean, 2% also works. I have to regenerate here, so... So you might want to, I'll leave it at 2% for now because not a big deal, but let's just get rid of this in combat thing because it's not very useful for now, but we will eventually be doing that. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty short. It's what, seven, eight minutes, mostly talking. That is regeneration. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Next time we're going to be doing lurping and animating the bars and making them look awesome. Anyways, bye-bye.